Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a very powerful technique for selecting multiple lines of code at the same time using multiple cursors in VS Code. So here I have my basic JavaScript file open in VS Code on a Mac. Now I'm going to go ahead and as I hold the Option key, I'm going to click in multiple places in the text. And by the way, guys, it's Alt key on Windows. So doing that will add multiple cursors throughout the source code in my JavaScript file. At first, it might look like it's not very useful, but it's actually a very powerful editing technique. For example, now that I have my cursors selected, I can hold the Shift key and use the left and right arrows to move my selection on multiple cursors. Now, at this point, if you start typing, it will type on multiple lines of code at the same time. Now, you can use this in so many different ways, but one of the most useful examples, in my opinion, is replacing text on multiple lines at the same time. So here, I'm going to hold Option key and click next to the A character on the console.log line. Now, with my Option key still held, I'm going to press Shift, and then I'm going to click at the bottom here. So this will create five multiple cursors across that space. Now you can release everything and press shift again and use the arrow keys left or right to make a selection on multiple lines. Now if you start typing you will be replacing the text inside the console log function on multiple lines. You can even backspace on multiple lines and by holding shift you can select multiple lines at the same time. So here I'm going to select text on multiple lines at the same time and I'm going to hit delete period and again this is just a one simple example of how to use multiple cursors in VS Code. It can be really useful especially if you want to change variable names on different lines in different locations on that line. Um, you can do that. Here I'm using two multiple cursors to change variable names at the same time. There's no limit to how many cursors you can have, uh, so just get creative with this. Pretty much this is how you use multiple cursors in VS Code.